Hey guys, my name is Shai and this is the weekly reading for March 27th. I'm filming this on and I think I'm going to get back into the astrological transits in Taurus season. I, the, the, the deeper we get into this Aries energy, I just feel like even though there are some intense transits going on in the background and I think that's manifesting in our lives with some very strange and interesting surprises and like tensions flying around in the background, I don't think this is the time to really be focusing on that. This is the time to be focusing on what's right in front of you and what you can do right now. What you can do right now. This is time to kind of pull yourself out of the abstraction and get like really just grounded into whatever present action you can take right now and you know i kind of feel everybody <laughs> looking at this ring um maybe i'll take a moment just to address this and maybe the story um has something to do with the reading of the week and as you can see this is a pretty um stand out looking big gemstone and this is by far the most expensive piece of jewelry that i own it's a my grandma thought it was an aqua aquamarine the jeweler who I had um, appraise it, says it's probably a blue topaz. And this is the ring my grandma, she bought She bought rings for all of her grandchildren when we were born and then gave them to us later in life. She gave this to me when I turned 18. And I, I never wear it um, because, I mean, it's kind of 80s looking and seemed kind of gaudy and I didn't really know how to walk around with this giant stone on my hand. It made me feel like an old lady. And so I've had it like in my jewelry box in the back of my closet for all of these years and something last night just prompted me to get up out of bed and go into the closet and dig it out and now I'm, I'm going to wear it because I was like why not allow this big beautiful gem to shine I it deserves to be seen doesn't it <laughs> so something about digging stuff up that has been right underneath your nose the entire time and Maybe this is connected to the Aries new moon. So yeah, like I said, I'm not going to talk about the transits, but we do have the new moon coming up this week and that is going to really, really intensify all of this Aries energy, which I feel has not, it, I mean, for some people it might feel like a, an inner child healing, but I think it's a little different than that. It feels almost like inner teenager. This is like an inner teenager time. Um, for some people, themes from their adolescence are coming back up or conflicts are seeming to repeat themselves and we are, you know, addressing them one last time. And that was my cat just freaking out, tearing ass across the entire apartment. <laughs> just like this innocence of wands with this fox, right? <laughs> this is this kind of inner teenager energy going out and to explore. Um, so we want to be recapturing that feeling of you know you know remember being 18 maybe some of you are 18 but I know from the metrics that most of you are older than 18 <laughs> um you know when you're 18 and you feel like you can just go out and conquer the world and you don't really care about what obstacles are in front of you you're just like whatever this is just going to work out for me because it has to because I deserve to have this work out for me and I'm just going to go conquer the world right that's the feeling that we want to tune into this feeling of just fuck all of it, I am going to go out <laughs> and have my way. <laughs> and not because I'm going to do anything else to anybody else. Not, nobody else has anything to do with this. This is just about me, myself, and I. And that's what I deserve. And oh my goodness, we <laughs> page of wands, knight of wands, two foxes. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Any strangeness unfolding in your 3D reality is something to just notice and then work around. It's not the time to be worrying about it. Ace of Cups. I just want that one. All these other ones are going to go back in. Justice. Um, I have been noticing themes of injustice coming up for people. I mean, sometimes this is really, really big, huge stuff. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The sun. This is the third sun card I've pulled today. I pulled, um, I, I pulled the sun for myself and then I pulled the sun for my husband and now I'm pulling the sun for all of us. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So, <laughs> okay. So all of these themes of injustice, right? Some people has been cropping up is very, very small. Like maybe the cashier at the grocery store 
thought you were trying to rip them off or something. <laughs> and it's like, no, no, I was I'm wrongfully accused. I didn't do it. But um, maybe you like can't convince everybody. Um, maybe it feels like there's nothing you can do um, to convince everybody. So you just have to get okay in your own mind, knowing that, you know, you know, you didn't do anything wrong. You know that you were wrongfully accused. Other people, this is showing up in a much bigger way. Whatever level, man, I got cards going everywhere. Whatever level the injustice. So this is the card that just flew out onto my lap. All paths lead home, right? Whatever um, manifestations of the feeling of injustice you are having, know that it's all it's all okay. It's all going to work out. We got the justice card coming through. I think the Aries new moon is going to be restoring the sense of justice, restoring the sense of balance. All paths lead home. It doesn't matter about the winding path that you walk. It doesn't matter about all the weird shit that happens along the way. What actually matters is that you just get there, right? You're going to get there. You're just going to get there. Everything's going to fall into place. And yeah, you're going to look back and go, some of that stuff that happened on my path didn't make any sense. Some of it was unjust. Some of it I didn't deserve, but it doesn't matter. You're going to get there. Just focus on the fact that you're going to get there. You're going to get there. You're going to get there. And like, you know, Ace of Cups, this, it's like a peace offering. <laughs> this is a peace offering and that reset to your emotional state, the reset to your emotional state. And the sun, this is my favorite card to receive because I repeatedly receive this card on days when a life-changing surprise comes through. A life-changing surprise. It like like out of nowhere. It's almost like the opposite of the tower. This is this is the card that reverses the tower. This is a, like a surprise of tower size coming through, but it is beautiful and and exactly what you needed. Exactly what you needed. It is like the ray the, the clouds part and the sun shines once more and the rays of light come down to shine upon you. And a surprise comes through. It's like just when you spent your last penny, um, the phone rings and you get a job offer, right? Or you open up your banking app and you find that there's like surprise money in your bank account because your tax agency like found an error and refunded you money. It's like, this is when something comes through exactly when you need it, exactly when you need it. For some people that could be literally just a break in the clouds and having a sunny day after like, you know, 40 days of rain or something, right? Um, for some people, this could be a helping hand exactly when you need it. Or this could be a big break, like a job offer or money coming through. Like, and I, I say that because I, I, that is what always happens when I draw the sun card. I almost never see it. I rarely receive it. But when I do, like I pulled it twice this morning and this, this is the third sun I've pulled today, guys. I don't know how to <laughs> emphasize that. Like the sun is going to come through. There will be light again. There's going to be a, some kind of surprise blessing is coming. It, it, it is with the sun card. It just is. It just does. <laughs> Ah, it, it just the triangle we got going here, right? You're in the middle here with your kind of inner teenager self reasserting themselves, right? And then justice and the sun and the ace of cups. What a beautiful triangle here. Justice, sun, ace of cups. That That's, ah. Uh. And you know, you know, we're interestingly lacking in earth energy i'm just noticing so it's air energy fire energy fire energy lots of fire energy makes sense with the um aries new moon coming up a little bit of emotional energy tiger so <laughs> i will more fire if there is a perfect animal for the aries new moon i mean why not roll with the tiger right i will i will To me, this feels like burning away the obstacles around you, burning away the obstacles, not out of, um, but not by attacking the obstacles, not by actually fighting the obstacles. You don't actually have to worry about the obstacles. It's like just by going within and lighting your fire and just focusing on the embers of your soul and the flame of your soul, then that like pushes back the fog around you just naturally, you know, like when you light a fire in on a foggy night it, it like the fog around it dissipates right it dissipates and then you can move forward so you're actually lighting your own way you're lighting your own way um but this time it's like not like the hermit it's not like with the lantern and it's not really like i mean it is with light right but i'm thinking like how, how can i juxtapose this with the hermit energy with virgo energy interestingly i've been getting these weird correlations between virgo and aries energy because they have this kind of like focus on the self um but 
the Virgo, the Hermit energy is different because Aries energy is more about the flame, about the flame. We have all of this fire energy coming through. This is about the flame. You want to feel your inner flame shining, 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 um, like, like burning, 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 burning bright. And that's how the fog um, fades away around you. Moon cards. <laughs> This energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. I mean, we're talking about a waxing moon here, and it's funny because, I mean, right now the moon is actually waning, but I feel like the energy of the new moon is waxing. <laughs> Does that make sense? But even though the moon is waning, is shrinking into the, into the new moon, the energy of the Aries new moon is waxing, waxing, waxing. Waxing, 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 getting bigger, getting bigger, big, getting brighter. Your flame is being stoked. Um, so what? it's like whatever... Um, internal combustion process you're in right now is not quite finished yet if um it, it, it's like tie like a little a little bit of energy of like tying up loose ends um and loading more coal into the fireplace like lo lo loading more coal into the furnace now i'm seeing like a coal like a one, an old steam engine right where they would have to like shovel the coal into the the engine and then make the steam <laughs> to, to power the whole train right and it's like chug 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 the train is gaining momentum gaining momentum and it's just like keep stoking the fire keep stoking the fire it's time to release negativity full moon in scorpio yeah this is um coming through to acknowledge the, the the like weird clashes and tensions that are happening around you but they're being released they're being released and man i had some experiences about this the last couple of days and um you know i had some weirdness pop up in my physical reality but it was like I didn't even it, it didn't even really get to me because I was so aware of the fact that it was just a manifestation of this like massive cleansing that is happening right now and I mean <laughs> cleansing if I could go back, I would choose a different word because I feel like the word cleansing has connotations that I don't mean here. <laughs> but, you know, I feel like they're um, over the past week, and I think this is going to continue, um, maybe for all of Aries season, it's like we are all gathering up um, this old, like ancient energy, ancient, dense, stuck energy that isn't serving anyone anymore and that's been hanging around for eons. And right now, it's, it's like we're tapping into it and flushing it all away, flushing it down, um, like, and that is manifesting in our lives as different feelings of injustice, right? Different feelings of injustice, but just know that this is just part of the cleanup process. This is, we're, we're like the cleanup crew right now, flushing it all away, burning it all away, having this energy, um, finally be, uh, like, Like, finally be felt, finally be seen, finally be heard one last time, processed, and then recycled. And then the, the, this um, mud, this energetic mud is what it feels like to me. It just feels like all this ener energy mud um, flying around. It's being processed and released. It's being processed and released. And so this is a really important phase. And it really helps me anyway when I have weirdness pop up in my 3D reality if I go okay, well, this is just part of like the great cosmic cleanup, right? We're just cleaning up this energy. We're just processing it and letting it go. And then I can, it, it makes it so much easier for me to like ride the waves of physical life weirdness, like human life weirdness, right? If I just constantly tune into the bigger perspective, constantly tune into the bigger perspective. And that um, I think brings me to the the final point here is you're talking about this inner teenager healing, you know, we're, we're kind of um all... How do I explain? How do I explain? Okay, so it's like we're kind of embodying our teenage selves, right? Our youthful selves, our youthful selves. We're embodying our youthful selves. And that is really healing and really important because it is like lighting the spark within and helping us separate ourselves from the mud, right? Separate ourselves from the muck. It's helping us remember who we really are. But I also think at the same time, our like teenage selves, our inner teenager is going through a maturation process. And so 
there can be like frustration and anger because you remember remember being a teenager, right? You got frustrated and angry probably easier than we do now, <laughs> right? But we're going through this process of releasing the frustration and the anger so that we can embody our inner teenager without the kind of immaturity of the teenager. It's like, how can you be your youthful self without the pitfalls of the immaturity. That's the kind of the process that's happening right now. It's the, the tempering, the tempering of the teenager, the tempering of the teenager so that we can be wild and free and sovereign and strong and fiery and inquisitive and curious and explorative. But we can also do that with um, like tempered wisdom, tempered wisdom that we have gained through all of our lives, right? So that there can be this... Um, like a youthful grown-up is, <laughs> is, is the only word I could think of, like a youthful grown-up. That's what we want to be aiming for, right? To be... <sighs> to be youthful and wise. To be youthful and wise at the same time. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. I was wondering why I was grabbing a different deck just to grab one final card here. Um, it's to let you know that the wheel is turning, our fortunes are changing, right? Justice is coming, the sun is going to shine. The <laughs> love will come again and all paths lead home, right? Your fortunes are changing, the wheel is turning, the age is shifting, the energy is shifting, everything is in motion. Everything is also passing right everything is passing everything is passing everything is moving everything is moving with the wheel there can be chaos around you but remember if you center yourself and just focus on your inner flame right at the middle of the wheel right at the middle of the wheel then the chaos will flow around you you can see the chaos around you and it won't it doesn't have to touch you get so centered on your own inner flame so centered on your own inner flame and just let the chaos revolve around you just let it revolve around you. It's not you. You are not the chaos that you see. You are nothing but a pure, bright, fiery flame burning in your heart. So I will talk to you guys later. Sending you so much love and light. Bye.